Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Tuesday the 14th of July. Today we remember John Keeble, priest, Tractarian and poet. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with faithful love and compassion, who satisfies you with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our refrain is, The Lord remembered his covenant. The Lord remembered his covenant. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, for his faithfulness endures forever. Who can express the mighty acts of the Lord, or show forth all his praise? Blessed are those who observe what is right, and always do what is just. Remember me, O Lord, in the favour you bear for your people. Visit me in the day of your salvation that I may see the prosperity of your chosen and rejoice in the gladness of your people and exult in your inheritance. The Lord remembered his covenant. We have sinned like our forebears. We have done wrong and dealt wickedly. In Egypt they did not consider your wonders nor remember the abundance of your faithful love. They rebelled against the Most High at the Red Sea. But he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it was dried up, so he led them through the deep as through the wilderness. He saved them from the adversary's hand, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. As for those that troubled them, the waters overwhelmed them. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words and sang aloud his praise. The Lord remembered his covenant. But soon they forgot his deeds, and would not wait for his counsel. A craving seized them in the wilderness, and they put God to the test in the desert. He gave them their desire, but sent a wasting sickness among them. They grew jealous of Moses in the camp, and of Aaron, the Holy One of God, so the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Ebiram. A fire was kindled in their company. The flame burnt up the wicked. The Lord remembered his covenant. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped the molten image. Thus they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that feeds on hay. They forgot God their saviour who had done such great things in Egypt, wonderful deeds in the land of Ham, and fearful things at the Red Sea. So he would have destroyed them, had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath from consuming them. The Lord remembered his covenant. Then they scorned the promised land and would not believe his word, but murmured in their tents and would not heed the voice of the Lord, so he lifted his hand against them and swore to overthrow them in the wilderness, to disperse their descendants among the nations 
and to scatter them throughout the lands. The Lord remembered his covenant. They joined themselves to the Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They provoked him to anger with their evil deeds and a plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and interceded and so the plague was stayed. This was counted to him for righteousness throughout all generations forever. They angered him also at the waters of Meribah, so that Moses suffered for their sake, for they so embittered his spirit that he spoke rash words with his lips. The Lord remembered his covenant. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord had commanded them. They mingled with the nations and learned to follow their ways, so that they worshipped their idols, which became to them a snare. Their own sons and daughters they sacrificed to evil spirits. They shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, which they offered to the idols of Canaan, and the land was defiled with blood. Thus were they polluted by their actions, and in their wanton deeds went whoring after other gods. The Lord remembered his covenant. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, and he abhorred his inheritance. He gave them over to the hand of the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them. So their enemies oppressed them, and put them in subjection under their hand. Many a time did he deliver them. But they rebelled through their own devices, and were brought down through their wickedness. Nevertheless he saw their adversity, when he heard their lamentation. He remembered his covenant with them, and relented according to the greatness of his faithful love. He made them also to be pitied by all who had taken them captive. The Lord remembered his covenant. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting and to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Alleluia. The Lord remembered his covenant. Holy God, when our memories blot out your kindness and we ignore your patient love, remember us, remake us, and give to us poor sinners the rich inheritance of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The man Elkanah and all his household went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice, and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, as soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him, that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and remain there for ever. I will offer him as a Nazarite for all time. Her husband Elkanah said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you've weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. When she had weaned him, she took him up with her along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour and a skin of wine. She brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh, and the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me the petition that I made to him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is given to the Lord. She left him there for the Lord. Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord. My strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies, because I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, no one beside you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, 
and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. He brings down to shale and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honour. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might does one prevail. The Lord, his adversaries, shall be shattered. The Most High will thunder in the heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. Then Elkanah went home to Ramah, while the boy remained to minister to the Lord in the presence of the priest Eli. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our refrain is, Spirit of God, teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. Spirit of God, Teach us your ways that we may walk in the paths of peace. Come, let us go up to the mountain of God, to the house of the God of Jacob, that God may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. For the law shall go out from Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. God shall judge between the nations and shall mediate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into ploughshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O people of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Spirit of God, Teach us your ways, that we may walk in the paths of peace. A reading from Luke. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, If even you had only recognised on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you, and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground, you and your children within you, and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognise the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple, and began to drive out those who were selling things there. And he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him, but they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Lead me in the path of your commandments, that I may see the wonders of your law. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may see the wonders of your law. Our refrain is, they were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. They were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us, 
to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. They were faithful unto death, and God has given them the crown of life. So, let us pray. That this and all our days may be full of your praise. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will keep us this day without sin. We pray to you, O Lord, that we may walk before you in the paths of righteousness and peace. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will bless your people and lift them up forever. We pray to you, O Lord, that you will guide and protect us by your Holy Spirit and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Father of the Eternal Word, in whose encompassing love all things in peace and order move, grant that as your servant John Keeble adored you in all creation, so we may have a humble heart of love for the mysteries of your Church, and know your love to be new every morning. In Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.